Hello and welcome to Tea Time with Plus TV Africa. My name is Elsie Godwin and we're here to definitely give you the biggest tea in the entertainment industry. Um, I've got a while you are with me and if you are you are okay. What's up, man? I'm all right. I'm feeling my Up to New Year to you guys. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm like, what? Even, <laughs> even the viewers wonder <laughs> which happy New Year is happening. No, because it has not stopped. Too. Like, every time I'm driving out of my house, somebody will still tell me, ah, it happy New so Year. Because now. they've not seen mm. you. So I'm it will like, go on till, in fact, for me, it goes on till the like year March. ends. As long as yeah. I'm not seeing you. <laughs> Once I see you, it's, it's happening. Happy new year. For me, even if I see you in January, okay, and I for those that haven't watched November, the new year, say, wow, happy, happy new year! Happy new year to you guys. It will go on now. So in March, it's still allowed. <sighs> okay. No problem. <laughs> Moving on, comedian Bovi is yet to give us the full tea, but his recent tweet confirms that his United States visa application was rejected. However, he went on to insinuate that this could be the doings of the Titans. For those who don't know, Titans are loyal fans of reality TV star Tasha. His tweet simply reads, the U.S. Embassy rejected my visa application this morning. These hmm. Titans are everywhere, end of quote. Well, okay. I think this came off the back of when he said that um, if he is elected president. He was doing, you know, this thing on Instagram when um, ask people ask you a question and, yeah. and then you reply first to me, asking what says, would be the first thing he would do if he becomes president. He said he would declare the Malians and, and Titans, Titans as a terrorist, terrorist group, mm. Mm. a terrorist organization. But, I mean, <laughs> I, I think this is just a joke we should laugh about because I'm not sure it's No, but the truth is it. the Titans are everywhere because when you see... Um, <laughs> so the Titans... <laughs> no, if I don't even go For there. For him to tweet this though, I know that he's... Uh, not that I know. I believe that his visa was rejected. Yeah, it doesn't of mean he will not get it again. I mean, he replies saying, no, I'm, I'm just like saying that. Full time. So mm. They could give him again. But I'm saying the joke is... I'm sure it does not because people are really taking this to art. Like, why would you accuse people of that kind of How, thing? Why are you but sure? the titans are, sure are actually accusing? everywhere. What if the person there was a titan? Uh, wow, a titan the, the white man. man. <laughs> the not, white man. No, it's no, not no, white no, people. Not they are not necessarily people. white people there. Nah. Mm. Yeah. And the I'm Malians are everywhere too. So, 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 haven't yeah. you realized? Mm. <laughs> wow. Why what are you shocked about? That but is why whatever it's, that like I said, that. you know, he has not given us the real tea, so mm. we can't even say this is what is happening or this is not what is happening. So we'll just take it as a joke. That, yeah, it's a joke. I know. mean, it's not. A well, because Come on, Titans community. are everywhere. Be careful what you say about Tatcha because, man, they can. They can what? They can ruin you. They can ruin you. Yes. Yeah, so. They will ruin the Tatcha first before they come out. <laughs> well, now that Tatcha um, doesn't have a solid management till um, later this month, then. Let's see if they're actually capable of doing anything because... Um, um, I think TBS is still on till 14. Yeah, that's why I said mm. till later this year. Or this month, sorry. I said later this month. So, um, well, like you all said, now let's not trivialize this. And I think Bobby was just joking about this. Like, these titans are everywhere. Like, when you accuse somebody wrongly or you say something, you troll a certain group of people, and then something bad happens, it's only right to make a joke, and him being a comedian and all, of, and all of that, to just make a joke out of it, like these titans are everywhere. But I'm surprised they didn't say these Malians are everywhere, because I, I don't think Malians happened. like white collar I, jobs. I just know, we don't know the full gist, but that is what I feel. I don't think anything happened, honestly. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. To okay. be honest, nothing happened. He Moving. just he just said these yeah, titans nothing, nothing are everywhere, happened. just to continue because the joke. Because, you know, now every time somebody says something against that, the person will probably have one bad story. Maybe somebody is attacking oh, yeah? them. Oh, yeah? That has been happening. Yeah, ah, so then something happened. No, I'm just saying that if that's maybe the case, that's something happened. Nothing happened. Okay. This is a movie speed. <laughs> no. So moving on to the next story, a Vanity Fair New York based film critic, um, K. Austin Collins is facing calls for him to be fired following his tweet on Beyonce's seven year old daughter Blue Ivy. In his tweet he said, and I quote, I have a feeling the Jay-Z face jeans are about to really hit Blue Ivy and I feel so sorry for her, end of quote. Another web writer replied the tweet saying, if the jeans have not Okay, she was asking if the jeans haven't hit already, and he went on, which is the most annoying part of this tweet. He said, "You're right, but she's lucky. If it happens now, she will definitely grow out of it. Get the ugly duckling face done already." 
I don't know how people will be so I mean, be so jealous of a young girl that you really have to go Not this jealous, far to. Chef, it's this so is, bitter. Because this is just terrible. That that girl is just seven or. You're yeah, already she? saying you're calling you, her ugly. ugly. She's beautiful. I don't I know mean, if it's just she's my very eye. Like, she looks like a dad, but then, she's very beautiful. By all means, please look like a billionaire. Jay Z is a billionaire. No, no, so no, 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 no. But on, on a very serious note, she looks like him, but she's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at her, you see Jay Z in her, but she's and you very. You see Beyonce in her as well. She's very beautiful. You see, so I'm you like, see what both is this parents. person talking about? Well, I don't, I don't understand how people. Well, people have said it's kind of misogynist. This kind of racist and because yeah, um I you know we have agree. the black features um mm. the big nose the big um eyes the big lips and all of that that's how they attribute black people or that's what they attribute to black and that's beautiful, people I mean. and that's beautiful and it's time for us to even start taking pride so me i don't even want to say this as a racist comment if you're saying oh my daughter looks so it's much coming from a black dude yeah if you say i mean there are lots of black people that are racist, racist. yeah Anyway, um, for some, they feel like this um, this tweet is coming from a place of hate for Beyonce. So people have hated Beyonce for a very long time. No, 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 just and say sometimes they have they have, they have mm -hmm. like love hate uh, relationship with her. They know they cannot really come out to criticize her because she's been there, not because she's beautiful or because she's married to Jay Z, mm -hmm. but because she's hardworking, she's talented, she puts in the work, and now they are kind of trying to project that hate they have for her. On her daughter and it's just sad because this girl is just seven years old like and when you were seven what were you doing with your life when what you were exactly, seven how exactly did you how look? did you look <coughs> you know I, I you know the critics also came when she still had the real fro before she straightened out her mm. hair they were like oh she should straighten the hair and look a bit better and blah 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 and this the other lady went on to say that um, when she gets to 16 or something that you have a plastic mm -hmm. surgery yeah, and then we forget that she ever looked this way uh, like but what's wrong with her looks that's I, the question that's like, like I mean, I'm so what bad is that. wrong what exactly is wrong with blue ivy's look very fine girl I'm and then she's looking like a father so is she supposed to look like you <laughs> Jonas, <laughs> like she's she's looking like a dad. Yes, that's what a dad looks like, and she's looking like a father. So if his jeans are rubbing off on, on her, then it's acceptable. We really do not care about your opinion. So I think a lot of these people that are on Vanity Fair and on all, so all, all other platforms yes. should not shut their oh, wow. trap. I think it should be fired. Even if, even if imagine the seven-year-old girl saying this. Even if she does not have access to internet, her peers in school will tell her that this is what we saw. Somebody think you're ugly. ugly yeah. And how do you? You, as, as, you know that that's going to affect her. She's very young Mental, for crying out loud. They should sue this they guy. They should sue him. He should lose his job, and he should. He should be in jail, <laughs> and if possible, die. Honestly, dead. because this can ruin that girl. Okay. This 2020, we are not no messy. No, not uh, joking, no, no, we are not yeah. joking. Like if you mess up, you are, you are dying of going jail. to jail. <laughs> We are very <laughs> angry. <laughs> but when we go on, it is baby mama drama and baby daddy drama. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, right. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is City Time on Plus TV Africa. Sophia Momodu fires back at Davido. Say she never asked for a lift. So if you're lost, this is what happened. During Afro Nation 30 December period, we saw photos of Imadi and Sophia on the same private jet with Davido to Ghana. Rumors of them having a fling started and Davido felt the need to clear the air. He dropped a really coordinated response, stating that he only allowed his baby mama Sophia on his plane for the sake of his daughter, asking bloggers and 
Mumomongas to respect his fiancée, Chioma, and her family. However, the well-written post wasn't without a flaw, as he said that if he hadn't given Sophia Momodu a ride on his jet, she would have to fly economy. Sophia is clearly not happy about that statement, it says she never asked for a lift and that she is about to burn this whole thing down. She also went on to say she flies business or oh, first class. class. And I respect hmm. you, sis. I mean, I'm sorry, you, but <laughs> if I was in her shoes, I would do the same thing. I, I went to her snap and then she it's did the whole video. Deep. She did, no, 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 you don't, you can't say it's, it's not. not David that would, I'm, I'm a David, I'm, sh sh trust me, I'm a David Doe fan, so mm -hmm. you cannot even say you want to try and defend him to me. This post is okay for you to try to defend your family, but don't try to bring anybody down. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm almost sure. Sophie is not just an ordinary girl on the streets that she's is coming. Daily, she's, she's, she's daily she, She's made on niche. her own. She has her own fashion brand, and then she's a big deal. I'm sure Imade would never fly an economy with Come Sophie. On. Hold on. What's the big deal in fair and economy? She That's not the, see, see, there's no big deal because mm. I would definitely fair an economy. I cannot afford a business class. But the point is, the way David Doe said it, it was more like he was trying okay, to bring so her down. Okay, so let me explain it from this angle because mm. um, a lot of people saw it as him trying to bring her down. Now, that what, what if... Like. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 that was what it looked like. It but what if like he was it. talking from a first-hand experience? Like, okay, I was there. We met at the airport, right? Mm. And, um, there were no available flight and especially when no that's not what happened okay okay, 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 okay okay no no wait he said he didn't want him and they left wait now Lagos. as in relax like i'm saying that okay maybe they had a conversation and she they were like oh i can't even find a flight or so everything that is available right now is economy business is all taken first class is all taken mm -hmm. and all of that so he's saying it from the point of view like Okay, there are no available flight for business or first class. Mm -hmm. What is left is economy. Well, that's actually an angle because I know a lot of people who went to Afro Nation and the stretch mm -hmm. they went through. A friend even Jonas, to, I, exactly. Okay, that's so the my, own, my own. You couldn't even get tickets even if you had the money. Do you understand? And to what get a business. Have gotten would be and so maybe he was saying it not because so he what said. What he's saying is another angle. To yeah, that maybe it's not well. the fact that she cannot afford a business or first class, mm -hmm. but what was available was economy, mm -hmm. and he didn't want the model of his child and his daughter flying economy not because they or cannot afford it or she would have been left back in lagos, and, left back in lagos I and mean, then i'm sorry but the way he owes that particular same thing i just gave her a lift because of um imade see she's your baby mama she's not supposed to be your enemy do you understand? Mm -hmm. If she actually has a business to do, now, hold on. the people if she are has the a business, ones making it look like she's the enemy or anything. I don't even think he had any bad blood or any bad but intention then, when he was the writing lady it. lady herself is also seeing it from this angle that Ewa is Because of what people so, are saying. It's not about what people are saying. If uh, if that, I mean, if I was I, uh, if I was in her shoes and I read that, I w there's no other angle I want to take a look at it from. But hold on. She has blood I, running no, in no, now. No, you you cannot, cannot just we cannot look like, at this from another I'm angle. saying, if uh -uh. I can to what you're saying but if for example i mean none of us are there right this is what we see and what we mm. feel or what has happened and what me i know happened during afro nation right mm. so if this picture if it has painted right now mm. happened mm. and she knew within herself I feel like there are so many things you just have to let go. It's not. It's not really it's about. That's the point. That is let if he happened that way. Then let me finish. It's not just about social media or who who clapped back most or who did the best most. Most. Mm. We need to understand that there's a child involved in this. And if there was a scenario of I need tickets or um what the ticket I got. I mean, he said. I did not want Imade to be left back in Lagos. Clearly, it means that whether she bought business class or economy or first class, she, she did not it. buy for Imade. She was going to go on that business without Imade. Thank and you. he wanted Imade to go with her. So mm -hmm. the best thing he could do was come on my uh, plane because you wouldn't need to. All she needs is her passport and she will be able to be on the plane. So mm -hmm. if that happened and she still felt the need to keep on pushing this drama, then it is a factor of what she's seen people saying and feeling, I don't want to be the one that will be dragged, that people will feel like I don't have money. She refused to acknowledge the but fact people are that there was a background her. problem. But you know people are dragging her. You know people yes, so that must she, she should now because acknowledge she's already, every drag. People, people are already dragging that her that, oh, must she they acknowledge you, every they drag. you a lift and you were taking picture in the private jet. Let me, okay, 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 okay. Oh, no, so, I, want she, I want to bring it's, up it's something. First of all, hold on, Elsie. First of all, let's understand that let's not act like 
she's not maybe she does she's not feeling anything or whatever it is. being that good, baby mama good be, being a baby mama is already i'm sorry I'm not to bring anybody but i mean it's just already one kind of weird position and because of the pressure the society puts on them mm. she's that already going put on to, themselves don't say on them if you don't act, okay, don't so, act like you don't know so, I know, I, the society I'm, puts pressure on single mothers is what it is you can't act like it's wrong i'm going to look at it from the angle of whenever we have a conversation that has to do with let's say a whiskey that they did do mm. and they put out spread mm. where well, whiskey puts out a tweet and people decide to interpret it if okay let me leave whiskey and david do i am fair mm. so we have inside jokes we have gist we have conversations right and he puts out a tweet and i know the angle he is coming, coming from, from on that tweet mm. but everybody will always create a perception of mm. whatever they see and people <clears throat> decide to go out there and say oh yes um, if i try to bring elsie down this is what he meant and then begin to bring out different connotations of what if mm -hmm. had said even though i know where he's coming from then i decide to forget about the fact that I know who Ife is. And be like, oh, that's and now true. That's quite condescending. Instead of, if I Let even me attack speak, it. it will be a case of me coming to say, okay, this is my guy. I know what he's saying. This is the angle he is coming from. Or ignore it totally, which is why I'm saying there are so many angles to look at this thing from. Whatever it and is. And because you were not is, there, it's know, not even okay for I us to just. I hope that they settle conclude. it and sort it out. She said she's going to burn the whole thing down. So, no, I think, I think and the and burning and down. And then I like I like the fact that David do No, don't wait. That's the problem i was no, defending her burning I was, down I was, I was burning down I is a to... serious statement for you to use on anybody i was, I was going to talk about uh, is it, and well with, with this if with if we're going with what davido mm. uh, puts out there and if that's how she feels that that post was to bring her down is was, enough to okay, burn anything okay. down i'm going to bring that lift i never yeah. asked for a lift but he offered you a lift if you actually have bad blood or you feel anything then reject it she does not have fly bad your blood. economy all i want he to say she to, does not all have i want to say bad to so whatever you actually you want to give to i mean they are already in a in a five song because the way we are hearing it now there is a rumor that there's another baby mama coming up somewhere we don't know how mm. true that is but that is the rumor right now and that's why they are saying if you notice now um, the video is clearly not calling Choma wife anymore. He's calling her fiance. So I don't know about that. Hold girlfriend. on. Girlfriend, he even call her girlfriend uh -huh. in this post. So we don't know about that. So they are either in a four sum. We are either in a four sum or a five sum. So you already know your situation. Oh, I think they should try to sort this whole thing outside social media most of the times mm. and try to live as one big happy family because at the end of the day family will be going to if my if my point so if, she's going to tell you guys I, honestly i think i totally agree with what else have said they need to get all this issue of social media mm -hmm. that's why they don't should have even come out to put this statement out no, it's if, any, hold wait, on, wait, if wait, anybody wait, deserves, wait, if anybody deserves if any land okay if anybody deserves explanation mm. is trauma mm -hmm. do you get because that's just explain to her do you understand it's trauma that you owe an explanation you don't owe me. I don't know you. you uh, I mean, I can't be bothered. Do you get? Mm -hmm. Trust me. If he didn't see anything on this thing, the world do not handle. Sure you know. Do you know what fire a man is going through from his fiance because of this? That is why I'm saying that. Yeah, you, maybe oh. there's also, uh, you know, trust all issues. these things. Yeah, trust issues. And maybe yeah. Choma is really giving him the fire that I feel like. I, I don't know, but I feel like it's just unfair right so you should know your man you should know what he's doing he doesn't need to come and always make noise on social media do we really know queen. entertainers and then i my, think we need to move on to the next story um, I'm just she trying just to the put Sophie in my mood. Um, in my, in, in our, it's too early like, for all these bad news. It's not too like, early. We need to see you on tea time. So keep dragging yourselves out. We're here to talk about it. Mm. Moving on. But I, I'm wait. defending the video on this oh. one. Though. Rihanna is branded a liar for not releasing album in 2019 as promised. Sis, <laughs> I agree. What are you doing? Are you playing with Sis, <laughs> don't listen to them. You're making money. You have your life story out. Um, acquired by um, Amazon. You have um, your tabletop pictures mm. being acquired for very expensive figures. Mm. You have um, your Saudi Arabian prince as a man that a lot of women are envious about. You have your stuff put together. You have your Fenty going on. You have your Savage and Fenty going on. You have your Savage and Puma she going on. You have your, so are no, you no, joking? No, no, no. As you see, you worked hard, sister. When you drop your album, just make sure it's iconic. Well, not in a hurry. Your it's true, definitely be an iconic your your true Rihanna. Um, what what are your fans called? Ife. 
Yeah. If, if you're a true Rihanna fan, you will be anticipating an album. And you'll I'm be still pissed. bumping now, to her old songs. Now, now, hold on. Angry. I know mean, she's not working. People are not angry. You people should not make it. People are they not don't call angry. her a liar. It's just because she already said she would put out an album but we see she's before working. the end of the year. I mean, but everybody we see she's has. Working. If I hold on, everybody but we see has been anticipating working, right? this album. Do you get mm -hmm. And she said it herself. It's just normal that for people to react. If people are not reacting, I'm sure in her mind she will have a problem with it. I'm not going to Nigeria V. I'm not going to say she shouldn't react. No, like people. I mean, um, mm. people shouldn't react or not. But I think people should calm down. Like, if she puts out an album, who is making the money? She's still the one. So if she has told you, I'm going to put out an album today, and she, and she did not put it out tomorrow, Rihanna will put out an album. She will put out an album. She has not, at least she has not come out like thinking me now to say, I'm retiring. I'm so what is it happening December 32nd? <laughs> <laughs> so so she will. Here. We need to calm down. Someone was even using a line from her song and like, um, the song all she did about things, liars all, and, and all that. These things are not so serious. It's just something that, I mean, I was talking with a friend that, hmm, it's actually 31st, though. Mm -hmm. Rihanna is not even saying anything. She's not even telling us maybe in January But the thing is, she's saying a lot. Something. She's just not saying anything about music. And there are so many things that are coming out from Rihanna. And if that is, look, we are in an era where we are saying we need to take our mental health serious, right? We need to calm down with the pressure. It is music. It is when she's and ready. And I'm sure she's, I'm sure sister, she's working on it. So if she, when she's because ready... Because at the end of the day, it is sad if she drops it. It's not that deep. But it can't be that deep. deep. Because trust me, she's probably going to say something soon and everybody will just talk about it. That Rihanna, anything, anything you want us to do, wakuku your people, mm -hmm. just lead us. You get, this is not the first time this is happening. This is not the second time. Hold up, It's not so deep. Do you know the crazy thing? If she drops a whack album all in the name of... I'm trying to deliver an album this mm -hmm. year. These are the same people that will come for so, after uh, waiting for so long. Yeah, you are giving us this type mm. of album. Rihanna it's not can never drop an work album. She can't do it. 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 She <laughs> but basically, do Rihanna, please take your time, no matter how long it takes. As long as you're good and you're fine, and we're not going to hear you checked into a mental home and blah blah blah. No, please no, she's good. She's working it. hard. She's in a what good place. Ah. Ah. Okay. Moving on. Mouth. Nollywood actress Lola Margaret, who was arrested in the United States over alleged credit card fraud, finally speaks on her arrest. The actress was arrested in Atlanta for money laundering after failing in her. Pika duties. She was in detention for detention for two weeks after a huge sum was wired into her account and the collection method failed. In an interview with Broadway TV, she said she was a victim of circumstances. She trusted a friend who betrayed her, which led to her arrest. Hmm. So 2019, don't collect money for anybody. This is the first time she's speaking on this um, thing. I remember when the news broke, it was hmm. everywhere. You're like money laundering and blah, 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 blah. But And then they said she came back and then she located to Ibadan because the hits in Lagos was too much mm. and i think this is the first time they are really seeing her in public and she's addressing it so well Whatever. um i understand um, where she can be coming from because sometimes you do good and it comes back to bite you like um this could have just been a case of okay i get lots of um i get uh, huge sums of money in my mm -hmm. account and then somebody wants to use my account why not i can give it to you but you wouldn't even know it's fraud money mm, and it's also possible do you understand that's another angle to look at it from that if it could if she might have been ignorant about the source of the money and all of that so i like the fact that she's coming out to address this but whatever it is sis as long as you're not in jail mm. and all of that please live your best life this is 2020 no time for bad blood or bad energy yeah i said it though. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, that's our wrap of this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. I remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Out TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my exciting co anchors, Ewa Olua Ritu and Ife Olua Oshunkeye, and of course, the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin, saying thank you for watching and be good. Thank you.